Hey guys, I'd like to show you how you can use Xcolor Draw in Obsidian to create a presentation. So uh, here's how you do it. Uh, first of all, I recommend that you create a template and in your template you first add a rectangle that is going to be sized to exactly the size of your presentation screen. This is going to help you in positioning objects and knowing what fits on the screen and what does not. Uh, and sizing the rectangle to the size of your screen will ensure that zoom to fit will zoom your slide correctly. Later on when your slides are ready you can also decide to remove that rectangle. Then at, in the bottom right hand corner of the slide you add this link and this is going to be your navigation and then you need to switch to preview mode and uh, let me just show you so uh, this is your uh, raw mode now and I can switch to preview mode and then you can see that the links in that case are rendered and then if you click uh, the more options menu and you go over to the markdown view then you should add this uh, additional command or setting to your front matter uh, Excolidraw link pre prefix uh, equals an empty string and what this is going to do is this is going to change your default Excolidraw setting so you can see that normally my link prefix is this uh, diamond shape and with that setting that doesn't show so let me just go over here and show you what would happen if I would remove uh, this line from here so I'm removing this I'm switching back to Excolid uh, draw and you can see that uh, this diamond shape uh, appears which uh, doesn't look very nice on my slide so if I add uh, this uh, to my front matter then uh, for this specific document uh, that is going to be overridden and then if I quick switch back to view mode and to full screen mode we can move on uh, what I wanted to uh, show you is um, that or just give you this idea that you may want to save your templates in a dedicated folder or some use some naming conventions because probably over time you're going to have multiple templates and then you can get started uh, authoring your templates Again, I propose that you create a separate folder for each of your presentations. You can think of the folder as a, a special type of document and then each page in that document is a separate uh, file in that folder which you call slide one, slide two. And so let me just show you how that looks. So you can see here that I have my Excolidraw presentations folder and here's my intro to presentations and I have my slides uh, as individual files in here and I have my templates folder with a single template uh, for the time being and then uh, you can use uh, make a copy in the file manager to uh, add additional slides uh, to your uh, presentation and in terms of presentations, you have two options. One, you can uh, present directly from Excolidraw and you saw how I do, did it. Uh, I went to the first slide, of course, clicked full screen, uh, switched to uh, view mode. So this is view mode, the shortcut is Alt-R and then I'm using the navigation button in the bottom right. If you set up a hotkey for back and forward navigation, uh, then you can use that hotkey to move back in your slides uh, using simply the Obsidian feature to uh, move between uh, documents or move to documents in your history. The other option for presenting is using the slides core plugin in Obsidian and what then I recommend you do is you create a file called presentations and then you embed the drawings in that so let me show you how that looks so this is how the file would look you see each of the uh, slide uh, inserted here you can also see that I'm sizing each of the 
uh, slides uh, at 100 percent so you see slide one the pipe character and the hundred percent and uh, then this goes on till slide seven so if i now switch over to uh, presentation mode then you can see well here's the message first that uh, what I do is I also apply a minor CSS uh, tweak so this is a CSS snippet uh, I added uh, to uh, obsidian uh, for uh, slides this is the simple uh, comment and this will ensure that when I present my slides then uh, each of the slide will show, show a full screen uh, like this. I'm going to show you in a moment how it looks if I turn uh, this off but overall you can present uh, your slides like this and uh, enjoy the end result. And then finally let me just show you what happens if I turn off my uh, CSS snippet for slides. If I turn this off and I go to uh, presentation mode then uh, my slides are going to be sized uh, with a larger margin. This also looks nice, so this is really up to you if you want to use that uh, snippet or not. Uh, but anyway, I thought that this is a cool possibility uh, to use Xcoli Draw for presentations, and I hope uh, you will enjoy it. Thank you.